Hello guys, welcome once again. In the last video, I have shown you how to pass values from one form to another. So for example, I enter username and password and where username is admin and when I click login, login is correct. And the lo lo username is passed to the second form. So username was admin so my second form says welcome admin which we have passed from the first form. Now in this video I will show you how to search data in the database and show it into this uh, data grid view. So I want to search for name for example or surname or age uh, in the database and I want to sh filter all the names which I enter and it should be filtered according to the name I enter in the text box. So let's see how I am going to achieve that. First of all I will take a text box and place it here and this text box is for searching the data. So whatever I enter in this uh, text box that sh data should uh, filter and show into this data grid view. Okay. But, but first of all um, let's edit our program in order to achieve our search code. So if you know in the video number 13 of this uh, video series I have shown you how to load data into the data grid view from the database so the name of the video is uh, C sharp tutorial 13 show database value in table or data grid view so if you don't know this code this is where I have shown you how to link your table with the database. Now, so in this code, I'm going to correct, I'm, I'm going to edit this code a little in order to search the data. So in this code where you have declared your data table DB data set, I will just copy this, uh, whole data table and variable name also and I will delete this from here data table only just leave the variable name like that and it will show some error and I will go at the top and I will declare my data table variable the same name at the top of my code where my form declaration completes so here when I declare this like this it's a global variable so that I can use it in other method or function also that's why I have uh, declared at the top of the functions so declared like that and my load table now looks like this without the data table so but it's not showing error now okay now i will once again go to my form and this is the form the text box for searching right so i will double click this text box and this leads us to the text box text change event and in here we are going to write the code for searching the text okay and in here write data view I will name it as uh, DB variable name is equal to new data view data view bracket and bracket closed and in here I will pass my data table variable which I have declared at the top so I will 
copy this db data data set variable this we have declared at the top as a global variable just a while ago right so i will just copy this variable once again go to the form and once again double click this text box and in between this data view bracket i will pass that db data set variable okay in the next line i will write i will just copy this tv variable here dot row filter is equal to and just write this line so this is string dot format and in the bracket write name this name is the database column name so right now i want to search names in the database and the column name for my database table for name is name itself and the, the mysql uh, data are uh, is not case sensitive so i can write the name like that also with capital n or small n whatever you like you can write because it's not case sensitive so write name in the double quotes name like this is single quote percentage and in the bracket zero percentage then single quote and then double quote comma your text box name in which you want to search so this is the text box and this is its name right so this is that text box name text box name dot text so write these two lines and in the next line write data grid view which is the name of your data grid view this one this is the name of my data grid view dot data source is equal to db which is this data view variable name so in the text box text change event we will write these three lines of code okay and we have declared this data set variable as a global variable so write this and write the above code now we are going to run the program to to and i will load the table this i have shown you in the video number 13 now i want to search according to the name right because in the code i i am searching according to the name so i write something here j so all the name which are starting from j are filtered now i want to search specifically for john so j o h n so it searches for john once again i want to search mark m a r k we have two names which are mark so it has filtered both two names right now for example i want to search according to the surname what i will do is in our code just change this column name so in our database my surname column name is this one so i will change this in the code so surname just you want to just change this name according to your column name right and once again run the program load the table and this time i am searching according to the name so when i write b it gives me all the surname which are starting from b i want to search specifically for surname bell so two name surname with bell okay or some other surname g 
these are the name which has G in surname which has G in them and I just want to search this surname and it searched for me so like that you can search any column in the database with the help of your C sharp application so I hope this video has helped you in your programming and I hope you will learn something from this and uh, that's it for this video please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now